Hi, I'm Josh Olson, and I'd like to talk to you about Parker. Parker was the creation of the great novelist Donald Westlake, who wrote under the pseudonym Richard Stark. Parker is a thief and a cold-hearted bastard, and there have been numerous attempts to bring Westlake's books to the screen over the years. Obviously, the best of the bunch is Lee Marvin in John Borman's Point Blank, but there have been many others as well. While it gets a lot of heat, I really like the Mel Gibson version, Payback, and Robert Duvall was a great Parker in The Outfit. Jim Brown and Sam Elliott and recently Jason Statham have all played the character. And even Jean-Luc Godard got into the action uh, and did a Parker movie, although it's really not very good and certainly not very faithful. While the movie I'm about to talk to you about isn't based on a Parker book, it absolutely feels like one. And watching it, you realize that as good as Lee Marvin was, as good as Robert Duvall was, as good as Mel Gibson and all the other actors who've taken a shot at the character were, the great movie Parker, for my money, is Oliver Reed. And he never played him. This is sitting target. It's worth noting that this film was written by Alexander Jacobs, who also wrote Point Blank. So this is a kind of character he has a real feel for. Jacobs only has six credits to his name, but what credits? Point Blank, Hell on the Pacific, The Seven Ups, French Connection 2, the Steve McQueen version of Enemy of the People, and this, Sitting Target. It's a tough film about a ruthless killer, played by Reed, who escapes from prison with his partner, Ian McShane, on a mission to kill his own wife, who's cheated on him. She's played by Jill St. John. Reed's at his all-time best, brooding, tough, wounded, scary, and relentless, but always human. The jailbreak in the beginning feels like something Jules Dassin would have done, and the action scenes are just brutal. It's got a real Get Carter vibe to it. It's interesting watching from an American perspective, too, because it's a really big deal that he has a gun in this film. It almost seems to be the premise that got the film made. Oi, what if we had a criminal running a bat, but in this one, he's got a gun?